Welcome back to Black Skies Reviews. In this review, we'll be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified series, Kamakura. Kamakura is the apprentice of Snake Eyes. This action figure is a Amazon exclusive and retails for like $33.99. So, I'm not sure why they consider this a deluxe pack with the lack of a plastic window so we can see our figure. I'm not a big fan of these boxes because I can't not see my figure. Due to swapping and returning to stores, that kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yes, this is an online exclusive and you have reasonable assurance that that shouldn't happen to you. But I'm pretty sure people have bought stuff and returned it and swapped it and they haven't checked it. But let's hope this isn't a case. But this is a package that it comes in. Top of the package does have a hanger. Warning for choking has a smaller parts for children on age of three. Recommended for ages four and above. Here's the artwork. Mm. Big fan of artwork, but I'm not sure how I feel about this particular image. It's more on the cartoonish side than I would like. I mean, not a good cartoonish. I'm a big cart G.I. Joe cartoon fan. It's just, it looks a little bit of not childish in my opinion. Here's Kamakura, the figure. Not sure why they consider this a deluxe pack and charging you $33.99 for it, but I guess we're going to try to find out. Back at the packaging, we have Comic here with his height, figure height, showing his accessories. Nothing looks like it demands a $33 price tag. Top of the package, this is number 61 in the series. It's the bottom. There's a the UPC, if that helps you at all, I doubt it because it's an online exclusive, but there it is, just for information purposes. Side of the packaging. Now this side of the packaging has the art that I could really appreciate. This kind of looks a lot better than the image on the front. That's the comic cure that I remember from his initial release. The Rashi Kage signia on his arm. Looks great. Alright, with that being said, let's get him out of the packaging and check him out. Okay, here's comic cure as Hasbro's prisoner. And here he is outside the box, looking pretty awesome. Uh, we just basically have an all green gi with the light green trims and the so it's like a bluish grayish ninja mask with his gloves. Yeah, this is beautiful sculpted and I love the silver pad on his hand, brown wraps around his wrist, the Arase Kargi logo. That looks pretty nice right here. I love how that looks. We have the belt, the same color as Ninja Mask. And then we have that really nice gear here on his knees, pads, and on his shin guards. The texture on that makes it really makes the figure pop, in my opinion. I think that looks really good. We do have the brown straps to hold on the, the armor. And his Ninja Boots are... Pretty much the same color of his mask, gloves, and belt. So overall, it's not a lot to look at aesthetic-wise or details, but it, it fits the bill as a ninja. There's kind of a couple of angles to check out, especially the uh, light green around the uh, front of his gi, and then the green around his sleeves. Nice texturing there. Sculpting looks great. One thing I do like about the Cosify series, I, I want my OG characters first. I want like all the original characters in the original outfits for a Cosify section scale first. And I like the idea that they're thrown in one and twos here and there of the extended lore of G.I. Joe. 
like they've dipped into Karma Cure, they're dipping into that to he leaks now and that I can't remember that guy's name from Pursuit of Cobra. That hunter dude with the dreadlocks. He looks really cool. So they're not like bombarding us with like newer characters or giving us the older characters and throwing in the ones accordingly. I think they're doing great so far with that. Hopefully they stay with that and uh, get us originals that we all love first. But that's my opinion. But for Kami Kura, his eyes look pretty good. The head's kind of wonky. A little bit. It's wobbling. Let me move the figure. He rotates 360 on a ball joint. Not too much back and forth. This is a little bit side to side. Rotation on the arms, 360. Oh man, my joints are stiff. If we can get a T pose. We have a 360 bicep here. Double jointed elbows. Hopefully they're not too stiff. Mm, that one is. To heat this up a little bit, but you have double jointed pinless elbows. The wrists rotate 360, and we have the up and down like this on the wrist, on that wrist, and on this one is probably the same. Yep, we need one hand to be the up and down and the in and out for holding a weapon's opposability. So, the chest there, we have the French down, it's kind of like a ratcheting way back he's dodging a strike from his enemy i want to say it's a 360 rotation but it's super stiff we do have perfect splits we need that for ninjas that's a given so we have the drop down hips also push those back up thigh cuts 360 if you want to do that we have double jointed knees. Let's see if they function without heating. The top one's really stuck. Yep. Can't this one up here is stuck. I gotta heat it up. So double jointed knees. They're also pinless, which is good. Well that's that's fluent. At least, at least his ankle works. Uh pivot down. Some up. And then we have the side to side, which is extremely important. Oh yeah, there's a boot cut 360. And then I guess you could rotate the ankle if you wanted to around that ball joint. But getting that, we can need to fill and see for ninja kicks. Like that. And then we can do this. Ninja strike. They didn't say we didn't have kicking action on the box, but that's okay. We know we have kicking action. Oh yeah, there's butterfly joints too. Forgot about those. You can see that gives us uh, a range back and forth like this. That helps too with the playability and postability of our figures, which is fantastic. So we have his locker of accessories, number 61, Comic Cure on the front, keypad, handles, bottom, ultimate side, that ugly G.I. Joe logo from the movies, I hate that. And then we have this, I want the Real American Hero logo, in my opinion. All right, let's see what's in this thing. It's raining ninja weapons. Oh, look, I'm so glad that we got this. I was so worried that they wouldn't include this in here because this was an exclusive, but rest assured, guys, this is in here. And we have a tissue paper, it's getting better. We have G.I. Joe and Cobra and Simeas on our tissue paper now. So glad they did that. I couldn't live without that. Let's see what we got. Uh, first up, we have his hood. Same color as his mask. Um, it is together here 
on the tip. It's like you have to pop the head off to put this on. We have the alternate head, which I don't really care for because, like Snake Eyes, I think you shouldn't see Kamikura's face. He's a ninja, and that's against their beliefs. And again, if Hasbro would know what they were doing, they would not do this. Even like in the 80s, the Jinx should not have her face exposed, but it is what it is. But his sculpt's okay. Um, we have a bandana or a scarf connected the same way as the hood. You have to remove the head. Then we have a little a tie here. Done in green. Must go on his belt or something. Here we have his sword holder, backpack, plate, ninja, plate, whatever. Here it is. We have a knife, black knife, black handle. Well, it doesn't look like a ninja weapon, it's more of a combat weapon, so I don't think it fits the bill, but. And I think the blade should be silver. And we have a pistol for a ninja. And yeah, I know Snake Eyes has a pistol, so I get it. But still, you can see, it has to be a modern ninja. Here we have these pieces. It's like we have two swords and a staff of some sort, maybe a bladed staff. So I'm gonna take 20 minutes to cut that out of there. Give me a second. So we have the staff. With, um, it's almost like two specialized swords. I think what they're going for this is a connector, connection of two swords together as a weapon. Silver blades, white handle white handles, black handles, and uh, because here are the broken in half version, I would have thought at least would have made sense to just save us the extra $8, is that what that's for? Just give us these two and have the ability to connect them together. And that enhance our playability, but instead they decided to give us a full one and then a piece. Two short swords. And we have this piece, and I'm guessing that there's swords or something in here. Alright, I'll be back as I cut this open. And here's the inside of that. One thing I do appreciate about the figure is the uh, kind of the homage to Snake Eyes. Here's, here's his Uzi. This is a nice looking Uzi. So it gives you an idea of like you know, who he who trained him basically. So he has you can see the training within this character because of the uh, style weapons that he has. Then he comes with two katanas. Plastic integrators, kind of flimsy. I do like the texture of the blades. It's pretty cool. It's a little thin for my liking, but I guess it is what it is. Here he is with his swords, pretty good. Holds them pretty decently. Pretty nice slashing action. <laughs> Awesome. So let's see how well he fit in the back of this thing. Yeah, they fit the bill, I guess. I don't I don't think this is I don't like this because it's oh I don't have it upside down. No, I don't have it upside down. Uh shouldn't have your blades exposed. I think this is just a cop out for saving money on plastic. And that one's kind of rubbing the actual okay we have it backwards see that doesn't go down because this grip there gets in the way we have green around that one and not around that one there's a cut a specific way to go to put it like that and that is just 
That's what doesn't look right. It looks weird. Can't just get a basic ninja gear. Has we gotta screw it all up. That goes on his back. I guess you can kind of angle that however you see fit. But hopefully, he doesn't cut himself. <laughs> Okay, here's his other bladed weapons. Hmm. So I put on this scarf. It's not really a scarf, I think. I think this is what this is, is his hood pulled down. So if you want this look, you like the hood. You can put this piece on and it gives you the image that he has his hood pulled down. So I think that's what they're going for there. So it popped off his head. It looks like you got to try to uh, fish this head through here. Like so. And then try to pop it on the best you can. That's how that looks for now. I'm not sure if I like the hooded look. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. There's the alternate head. This looks weird from the back. I don't have to wear that scarf. Okay, so I put on the little pulled down version. I kind of like that better. I think this piece here goes on this little tab on the back. Here, like so. Maybe. Oh, that's going to get lost. That's actually movable a little bit. Okay, other than that we have his knife. I don't think there's anywhere to keep his knife. So you can't, he's a ninja and you can't keep all of his weapons on him. That's uh, definitely unfor unfortunate. This knife, this knife is not for him. It, just, it doesn't, it just sucks weird. It doesn't even hold great either. Yeah, that's, that's not a good weapon. And we have his pistol. The hands are a little stiff, but they're not too bad. They work, no problem. Get that deep in his hand. This is pistol hold. Pistol grip in action. In action. Okay. The Uzi. Uh, trying to get that in there. It's going to be all tough. All right, there you go. That's how you hold it. You can get it. It's a little tough, but if you work with it, you can get it. Just, I don't know, just something about it just doesn't feel right for me. On the uh, on the aesthetics part, in the whole lore of a ninja, honestly. Huh. Okay, here he is. Final thoughts. Uh... Pretty much how I like him so far. Pulled down hood. Um, the sword's on his back. I don't like the back. I don't like pretty much any accessories. And the swords don't match. That's not known for Comic Cure. Get this little piece here that keeps falling off. The figure's okay. The figure's nice. A little stiff joints, but we expect that. But um, accessories, I don't like the accessories in my opinion. I think they're just... Too thin, too small, and a bad choice. So, hope you guys liked this review. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the figure. And if you haven't won it, I'd like to hear your comments. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next review.